Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Welcome to our class. Today's class, we will learn one problem related to forces. Okay, so all these days we are discussing uh, in our engineering mechanics uh, the concept of forces. So today's class, we will see one problem. Okay, in that problem, how we can calculate the components of the forces okay how we can calculate the components of the forces so let us uh, start today's class we will see the problem now okay right so problem in this uh, diagram is given so everything is followed with the diagram okay like that uh, we will continue i will read the problem okay so first i'll write here the problem is see determine the problem is determine the x and y components determine the x and y components y components of the forces of the forces determine the x and y components of the forces p and f forces p and f as shown in figure p and f shown p and f shown in figure okay this is the problem okay so what are uh, what is p what is f what is x and what are y we will see in the diagram okay so you will be getting a question regarding forces so this type of problems we will see how we can solve it step by step right so first we will see the diagram okay what is the given diagram right so this is the diagram Okay, this is the reference okay this is the diagram see in this okay right so this is x this is y and what he is asking in this problem is uh, determine the x and y components of the forces p and f shown in the figure p and f so this is f okay this is uh, f and uh, this is this is p right this is f and this is p so p uh, is 200 newtons and uh, f is 300 newtons okay f is 300 newtons p is 200 newtons right now the angle is given so this angle is uh, 60 degrees right so now what we have to calculate here is determine the x and y components of the forces p and f as shown in the figure right now we will start the uh, solution part okay see here since p is directed see how p is directed p is directed upwards to the left so p is directed upwards to the left its components act in these directions as shown here okay so this is uh, these components acts in this direction as shown in the figure so with respect to the positive directions of the reference axis the sign of py is plus and px is minus right now once we will apply so f of x and f of y and we will uh, come to know what is p of x and p of y right so here we will write it f of x is f cos theta 
x so this we have discussed in our last class how we have calculated f of x so but here while we have to concentrate on p of x okay so here we have to concentrate on p of x so p of x equal to minus 200 right p x is minus 200 cos 60 degrees so we get minus 200 what is cos 60 degrees it is 0 0.5 okay it is 0 0.5 so we will get p of x is minus 100 newtons so that is we are taking it as 100 newtons showing in this direction okay now showing in this direction so next f of x is calculated right with respect to p of x next f of y f of y we know f of y is cos uh, f of y is f sin theta x so here p of x we have calculated now it is p of y okay so p of y is 200 sin 60 degrees so 200 is minus 200 into 0 0.866 so we know sin 60 is 0.866 so we will get 173.2 newtons so it is upper direction so directions we have to concentrate the directions right so now we will plot these terms in this uh, diagram right so that uh, the components we can determine the x and y components of the forces p and f okay so what is uh, p of x is 100 newtons and p of y is 173.2 newtons so we will plot here so the direction is in this direction no? so it is like this we'll show in a dotted line this is how much p of x is 100 and here the direction is upwards so diagram we have to draw like this so here it is p of uh, p of y is how much 173.2 newtons right this is p of y is 173.2 newtons so these terms we have plotted on this uh, diagram right now the components of p could also be found by mentally visualizing the triangle formed by uh, p of p and its components as shown in uh, if we take this triangle formed by p so we can apply for the to this triangle the sign rule okay we can apply to this triangle the sign rule so we will see now this diagram okay so here we can draw this diagram how we are getting so this is the p right so p is 200 newtons right this is the dotted line and this is the dotted line here so this is p of x we are writing p of x and this is p of y right we are writing this is uh, p of y so angle is here the angle is how much it is 30 degrees it is 30 degrees okay so here it is 60 degrees now once we apply the sign rule to this one we can write uh, this one as 200 by sin 90 is equal to p of x opposite is 30 so p of x sin 30 next p of y this is p of x p of y p of y opposite is what sin 60 
sine 16 right so we have applied sine root for the triangle generated by p right now next we will see the similar procedure uh, when the direction of a force is defined by its slope it is simpler and more direct to note the similarity between the slope triangle and the force triangle okay so now we will see the hypotenuse of the slope triangle see here how we can see the hypotenuse how we can see the hypotenuse we can see we can write here this is the slope okay so once we come back to this diagram this is the slope of the uh, force so here we can take this triangle okay so this is 2 this is 3 and we'll see the we'll calculate the hypotenuse okay so what will what will be the hypotenuse here so once two sides are known the hypotenuse of the slope triangle is right so we'll write here the hypotenuse the hypotenuse of the slope triangle of the slope triangle hypotenuse of the slope triangle is so we know under root this is 2 2 square plus 3 square we will get it as root 13 that is 3.61 so this is 3.61 so the slope is also calculated okay slope is also calculated next we will see from the proportionality between the corresponding sides of the force triangle and the slope triangle we will get the proportionality okay so this proportionality we can write here this proportionality we can write here so f of x by x is equal to f of y by y is equal to f by d okay f by d so this is uh, f of y by x is how much it is 3 okay from the hypotenuse from the triangle and this is f of y right this is x this is x by 3 this is f of y by y is how much 2 so it is f by d is f is how much 300 by d is we have calculated 3.61 okay we have calculated 3.61 so same way taking the terms we can mm -hmm. calculate uh, the slope and we can see the components of forces f right how we have calculated the components of forces to the p same way we can calculate here and we can write in this direction so we can write uh, f of x and f of y this is in this direction and this is in, in this direction okay so i think all of you understood today's class if you are having any doubts uh, in today's class uh, post your doubts in the comments box i will give you a reply if you are getting a question in your examination regarding uh, to calculate the forces of uh, a given diagram so this is the best way to calculate the forces it is the best way to determine uh, the x and y components of the forces p and f okay so that's all for today's class if you are having any doubts regarding engineering mechanics post your comment doubts in the comments box i will give i will give you a reply thank you very much thank you for watching please subscribe our channel please like and share our channel